Welcome. You are now watching video two of my presentation titled The Ignorance of Black and White Supremacy Exposed. If you did not watch video one of this presentation, I strongly suggest that you please do so first. By so doing, I think you may better appreciate and possibly understand and possibly understand the the content and my reasons for so much detail even more now what do i intend to show in this video presentation ignorance of black and white supremacy exposed in this video presentation i intend to show and not only to show but also to give you a lot of things to think about and maybe to talk about. For example, I intend to show that most of the people, and quite possibly, and quite possible, all of the people, movements and groups that are calling themselves white supremacists and black supremacists, that are talking about white supremacy, and black supremacy, white power and black power, and those that are advocating for these white power and black power ideologies, well, I intend to show in this video, from my perspective, that they are all being deceived by Satan, the devil, and his host of devils, which I also intend to clearly identify to you shortly, and let you be the judge. And I intend to show that not only are they, meaning the so-called and self-proclaimed white supremacist and black supremacist, not only are they being deceived, but that logically, rationally, semantically, metaphysically, spiritually, factually, philosophically, and otherwise, they really don't know that which they are claiming to be. Who they say they are, they really don't know. And also claiming to be talking about, they don't know. I intend to show that. They do not have a, they do have a zeal. I intend to show that they do have a zeal, but from my perspective, the zeal is not according to correct knowledge. I intend to show that if they really knew and truly knew what they were and what they are talking about, then they would be using the right words to say what they truly mean and they would also know, uh, know that if they don't say what they truly mean, then they can never be, they can never do and be what they intend. In this video, I intend to show, if not logically prove without a shadow of a doubt, that we, the natural native earthly humans, are not each other's real and formidable enemy but that we have been tricked into making enemies of ourselves, enemies and foes of each other. For example, I intend to show that the entire European Caucasian race of people that is very erroneously and oftentimes quite deceptively and intentionally called white people and the white race is not the real and formidable enemy of the African race of people. That is also very erroneously and most oftentimes contemptuously called black people and the black race. Nor is it the entire African race the real and formidable enemy of the Caucasian race or any other race or group of people 
from our natural native earthly human race for that matter. We are not each other's real and formidable enemy. Now, I want you to note very carefully that I did not say that the Caucasian race is not the real and formidable enemy of the African race and that the African race is not the real and formidable enemy of the Caucasian race, etc. But I said the entire Caucasian race and the entire African race or the entire any race or any other race of people are not the real and formidable enemy of each other because the facts and the evidence will show that there are some very black evil threatening cold-blooded greedy selfish power-hungry unconscionable demon-possessed heartless and diabolic people that I call Satan's elect Satan's chosen people Satan's representatives those that I called and will identify as Satan's oligarchy, the architects and administrators of the system, and they are from each and every race of people on our planet. Maybe some race have, more, have much more than others. Maybe in some race they are more visible than others. But from my perspective, they are the real and formidable enemy of us all. The entire natural, native, earthly human, it, uh, human family. And just like the man, Yahushua, that is commonly called Jesus today, or Jesus Christ, who is alleged to have said, and I quote, You will know them by their fruit. Grapes aren't gathered from thorns or figs from thistles, are they? Unquote. So, it is by their fruits that we shall know all these devils and Satan's elect. In another presentation, I will give you more detail on this topic. And I will also explain the difference between a natural native earthly human, a human, a human being, mankind, clones and automatons, etc. So please stay tuned. There is much more interesting topics and thought-provoking perspectives to come from I, the mystic philosopher. In this presentation, I intend to show that it is by their fruits, meaning by their works and by their deeds, by their selfishness, greed, war, warring, conquering, and controlling nature, by their injustice, their cruelty, and abuse of our natural native earthly humans, by their destructiveness and their destruction of our home and planet Earth, by their abuse and manipulation of our modern nature for their own personal and financial gains and power by their lies and deceptions into segregating and discriminating people by calling some black and some white by their religious political pyramid twin system and their family of isms that are used to govern and control the minds of our natural native earthly human i intend to show that it is by these things and the application of our basic and by and the application of our basic common sense that you shall know them our real and formidable enemies who and what they really are i intend to show that the reason why the so-called and self-proclaimed white supremacist and so-called and self-proclaimed black supremacists, revolutionaries, etc., are so rigorously involved in promoting and instigating their mental, verbal, psychological, spiritual, racial, and, and physical wars against each other is simply 
because they are being deceived first they are deceived conned and are being misled into not knowing themselves as to who and what they really are or as to who and what they really and truly are they are also deceived into not knowing their true potentials and what they can and what they are to become as natural native earthly humans second they are deceived into not knowing and recognizing who and what our real and formidable enemies really are and as a result they are all fighting a losing battle with each with and against each other a losing battle that currently and historically has produced many victims and casualties and the meme of hate and intolerance etc to give you an example of the importance of us all the natural native earthly humans knowing who and what our real and formidable enemies are in order to be successful or if you prefer in order to be victorious in our battle against them I will now quote the uh, um, Sun Tzu or the art of war from the book called the art of war and I quote if you know the enemy and know yourself you need not fear the result of a hundred battles if you know yourself but not the enemy for every victory gain you will also suffer a defeat if you know neither the enemy nor yourself you will succumb in every battle unquote succumb means yield or submit or hen and hence die thus this is why like the ancient philosophers and sage I the mystic philosopher suggest that you my listeners my viewers know thyself and thine enemies also and in doing this you like I the mystic philosopher may discover that some of your worst enemies are those that you are calling your friends and also some of those that you are that you once called your friends and the moment you discover them I also suggest that you get rid of them or they will get rid of you they might just be waiting for the right opportunity I intend to show in this video presentation that we the natural native earthly humans have one common enemy and our one common enemy is called Satan the devil he Satan or if you prefer it Satan along with his ministers his agents his chosen people uh, his chosen people's heirs and successors the oligarchies and their slavery economic system are our one common real and formidable foe another name for their slavery economic system is the religio-political pyramid twin system I intend to show and intend to continue showing that to call yourself black which is just another word for evil to be called the name profiled and listed as black is not a good thing but it is a bad thing an evil thing it is not a blessing but it is a curse a curse that spell only disaster for all those upon whom the name and the word black meaning evil is bestowed and pronounced and above all I intend to continue showing in this and many other videos to come that all those people that know the truth that they are not white 
that know the truth that they are that know the truth that they are not white in their skin complexion character reputation history or in any sense of the word white but are knowingly and deceptively calling themselves white claiming to be white proclaiming to the world that they are white teaching that they are white and claiming to be representing white and all that which is white i intend to show and continue showing that they are all liars i will continue exposing their lies and show that they are the children the chosen people agents seeds and servants of their god and father satan the devil and i intend to continue showing that the same thing applies to those people that know the truth about the word the sign and the symbol black those that know the, the meaning of the word black and that the word black means evil those that know the truth that their skin complexion is not black and above all those that know the truth that they are not their skin complexion in other words that their skin complexion is not who and what they are those that know that with the exception of their lies and bl and black meaning evil it with the exception of their lies and black meaning evil deeds they are not black let me repeat that with the exception of their lies and black meaning evil deeds they are not black but still they are deceptively calling themselves black deceptively teaching and having others believe that they are black i intend to continue showing that they are all liars and as such that they are the chosen people the children agents seeds and servants of their god and father satan the devil and to further emphasize this fact i will quote the man now called jesus by many today but who was known by his disciples and followers as yahushua and and i and i quote you belong to your father the devil you want to carry out your father's desire he was a murderer from the beginning not holding to the truth for there is no truth in him when he lies he speaks his native tongue or his native language for he is a liar and the father of lies unquote john 8 44 the new the NIV version this is the end of video 2 please switch to video 3 for the continuation of this presentation titled ignorance of white and black supremacy exposed